I've had so many requests from you on how I style my new haircut, so I have done that. This is, this is what I came up with today. Every day is a little bit different. So keep watching. I'll walk you through how I start to finish do it and end up with a list of all the favorite products I use to work with this thing. So keep watching and I'll take you through it. So last night I washed my hair and let it just air dry. I actually had it um, like in a little um, special absorbent towel. So it dried literally like this on top of my head. So I woke up and this is what it looks like woken up. I almost never wash dry and style my hair all on the same day. I do prefer to be lazy and just wash my hair at night and let it air dry and just use a little less heat. But um, I will show you at the end what I do when I have to do it all at once. So this is how, this is how I woke up like this. Um, not like this, but like this. So um, what I did do before I went to sleep is I spray my Aveda Brilliant. It's a uh, damage control and it is a kind of like a leave-in conditioner slash um, heat protectant. So I do that, I brush it through with my wet brush, more on that later, put it back in the towel and wake up like this. So before I start styling it, I'm just gonna brush through it one more time just to make sure there are no knots, bumps, well, lots of bumps and what have you. So I style my hair in two steps, straighten and curl. Sounds crazy, um, but this is how I do it. So the straightening, I only do around the hairline all throughout my head, just so that the hair lays flat. I don't run it through the whole shaft of the hair. And then the curling iron, we will curl. So I have my GHD classic one inch flat iron preheated and ready to go. I'm going to use my computer monitor as my mirror for the most part. So it's like, see these little bumps just to get this stuff to lay a little more cleanly. So I'm not doing the whole head. So you get the general idea, like this kind of does a little funky cowlick. So right along the hairline. What I like about this GHD, I've had it for years and years and years, is that I can get really close to the scalp, right up on the root. It gets nice and hot. There's no temperature setting. It's either on or off. So I think you get the idea, just getting like these little bits here all along the face and then I will even go along the back of my hair all along the hairline. So the roots are, you know, good. We'll worry about the parting later. Let me talk about these guys. I have bought many of these. These are the clamps that I swear by. They're by the brand Hot Tools. I found them only at Ulta. They come in, I think, a three or four pack and they are under $10. Um, there are other ones like Dry Bar and stuff that look very similar. I've not tried those. But um, these work great, and um, I should tell you what I'm doing. I'm sectioning off my hair. Thumbs are your friend. So I just take my thumb, and I usually go right around, like, whatever this thing is on your ear. I just use that as my guide. Draw my fingers through. I know there's a specific name for the part of your ear that sticks out like that, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I just twist my hair up and clamp it out of the way. Okay, now we have about the lower... I don't know, third of my hair, and then I divide it into two bits just for ease. And uh, let's talk about the star of the show. So I do have other curling irons, but I only have this size barrel in from Hot Tools. This is a Hot Tools curling iron. They are great. They are much more budget friendly than my T3 ones. Um, I do love my T3 ones, and I am considering upgrading, but right now this one works. So if you have a one and a quarter inch curling iron that you already own and it works for you, do not feel like you need to run out and get another one. So this is mine. I got mine at Ulta. Um, it is covered in product. Anyway, so one and a quarter inches, and I have it preheated to about 400, 390, somewhere in that range. I don't have it at the highest setting. And the key to this is you can curl your hair two ways. Both involve holding the um, curling iron vertically. So you can either curl it all in the same direction away from your face, which I did um, for formal night on our cruise and it made like more of a, like a 40s wave kind of thing. Or if you want that beachier tousled look, which I personally prefer, and so you want the piecier, you alternate your sections, starting with um, facing your, when you, the closest to your head, you pull it away like that, or if you're on this side, like that. 
you curl it away, and then every other section you curl towards you, which for me is always a little more difficult. So we're gonna start on the bottom, and I have sectioned it off. Some people like to start from the back, some people like to start from the front, doesn't matter. I like to start from the front. And um, the smaller sections you take, the piecier your hair will be. And you can hairspray if you want beforehand, I do not. So clamp facing forward and about two inches away from the root, you just start curling it away, running it through. And then when a little bit is hanging out, see that little bit hanging out? You just let it go. That's it. Um, next piece, I just let it hang there. Next piece will be away. This is always awkward and uncomfortable. The clamp, this bit that comes out, is now away from my face, if that's how you want to think about it. And now you spin it towards your head. Leaving some ends out. I don't leave it on. And there we go. And we will just repeat that back and forth, back and forth. And now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, starting again, when you do away from your face, you have the clamp pointing out away from you, is one way to remember it. And then when you go with the next section towards your face, you'll have the clamp facing you. Let's show you one more time. It took me a while to figure this out. I'm not the quickest when it comes to this. So now the clamp, I'm doing it toward my face, so the clamp is facing towards me. Leave a little bit hanging out. If I had longer hair, I would leave more hanging out, but I don't have as much hair left anymore, so there's not that much left to leave hanging out. And I'll just do this last section. Last section away, the clamp is facing away from me. Really quickly in. And there you go. All right, so I let, we're gonna do another section. I let this down. Don't mess with the curls, just let them cool. Your handy dandy thumbs are your friends. This time I go about level with the end of my eyebrows. Section that off, twist and clamp. And we'll just do the same thing. Pull the piece out closest to your head, away, toward, away, toward. I'll come back when it gets interesting towards the front and the top. So I'm gonna actually do two more layers. So I really am just kind of clipping up what would have been my bangs if I had bangs. So just this little front part is really what gets clipped up now. And then we'll just do the sides and the back. Oh, and I also wanna show you a trick. If you don't have a flat iron and you want to straighten out a kink in your hair, just turn the um, curling iron so that that clamp is facing you and it kind of works as a flat iron. You can run it along that area that needs to be straightened. Okay, now back to the clamp facing away, and we twirl. In reality, this takes me between five and seven minutes, talking you through it a little bit longer. Okay, so we unclap, unclasp, and now it's time to decide where I want my hair. Lately, I've been kind of going a little bit off center, so I just line it up with this eyebrow. You could use a comb and be more precise, but I don't, which I think lends to the beachy look. So now we're just gonna comb out these little bits. I don't know how it could get tangled, but it's the same idea. You just, it's more about just putting in that part. I get a lot closer to the root and I kind of lift it up a little in a way. And that's, that's really it. I mean, it's really, it's, Honestly, this technique that I'm doing is no different than how I did it when my hair was long. The difference is that you can actually see the curls get bouncier, the ends are cleaner because they have a, more of a blunt cut, it's not tapered. And I won't alternate, by the way, on the top. It all goes away from the face. That's just personal preference. There's no, there are no rules. Kind of like makeup, there aren't any rules. You just do what makes you happy. So I'm just gonna brush that back. Let these pieces cool, and then I will show you how I fix it all up. So now, fingers are your friends. I'm just breaking apart all the bits. So it's a little beachier, a little piecier, 
It's not PC. It's not politically correct. It's just PC or P I E C. The first thing is add some dry shampoo for lift. And if you if you are not sick of hearing me saying this or this is new to you, my absolute favorite is from Aveda. It's their Shampure dry shampoo, and it's a powder. Um, and it comes. It's not an aerosol. You squeeze the bottle, and it shoots out. So I use this for volume. So I'll just pull some pieces up. This stuff is amazing. We also, it does great job on really dry, like really oily hair. When Shane was in the hospital and couldn't shower, we used this on him and the nurses asked him if he had gotten his hair done. Um, Shane had a buddy that was laid up in bed and couldn't shower and we gave him a bottle as a present and it worked great, loved it. Okay, now that takes care of volume. Let's talk about frizz. So on the ends, I really, this is new to me. I just started using it, it's from Aveda. It's called their Damage Remedy Split End Repair. I currently don't have any split ends because I chopped them all off, but you just open it and you take a minuscule amount and rub that and then just kind of run along the ends. I do have some old layers still in here, but not a lot. And then there's two other oils that I use and it's really more of just what mood I'm in. So the two oils I use more on the shaft of the hair is either the Moroccan oil, um, which I have a million of these little smaller size bottles. I don't know what's up with that. And then also the Aveda Dry Remedy. If you have oily hair, this is it's a very dry oil. You cannot, it's really hard to overdo it. I am very interested in trying that ghost oil, but I should probably use up what I have. I'm gonna go with the um, Dry Remedy rub it between my hands and then I just make like a ponytail and just run it through the shaft of the hair and then just toss it up. And let me walk you through the products I use from start to finish because I have some new favorites and some old classics. So a new favorite find of mine thanks to all of your recommendations is my shampoo and conditioner. Surprisingly not Aveda. It's from Pureology and it's their Hydrate line. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. I have noticed a huge difference. I started using the shampoo and conditioner before I cut my hair and even my hairstylist noticed an improvement in my hair and I've been using it ever since. Great for dry hair, damaged hair, color treated hair, all of which I technically have. Then once I'm out of the shower, I touched upon this, the Aveda Brilliant Damage Control Spray. I spray this all over my wet hair and then I comb it through with my wet brush. These come in other colors, but I like purple. And then I usually just let it air dry. If, if I am styling my hair the same day I wash it, like one, from, from wet to dry in the same day, then um, I do a little cocktail. I mix a little bit of this Smooth Infusion. It's the Nourishing Styling Cream. There's different Smooth Infusion options. Um, this is the one that I currently use. I mix a little bit of that with a little bit of this Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Mix those two together in my palm and run that all over my hair. <laughs> and then I will also spray at the roots and at the top of the head the Aveda Thickening Tonic because I have um, not losing as much hair but I was losing quite a bit, a lot of hair was falling out. Still not, I think it was connected to the spironolactone I used to take, but it's also a side effect of my hypothyroid medication. So it is what it is. So there you go. And then I blow my hair dry with a round brush and this is the round brush that I use. It's by uh, Brush Lab and I will link it below. Everything will be linked below. It's not the giant one, it's sort of the normal, normal size one. And then the uh, hair dryer I've been using and I love is the T3 one. I've had this one for a while. It's great, it does dry in much faster time than my old like Conair or Revlon ones do. So I would say it's definitely worth the investment if you have a lot of hair or you hate drying your hair. It does not cost nearly as much as the Dyson and it's very lightweight. I very much enjoy it. This all lasts a good day or two and then, but I do kind of like to zhuzh it up a little bit if I've slept on it and um, you know, it gets a little flat. So Aveda came out with something new and it's, it's a game changer if you like to restyle your hair once it's been styled. So this is the Shampure Thermal Dry Conditioner, just like their dry shampoo. This is dry conditioner. This is not sponsored by Aveda. However, it's not dry, it's a spray. But the idea is it's basically like a, um, it's another heat protectant for your hair. So you just hold this, you know, a good six to eight inches away and you spray where you're going to be um, 
styling, you can run it through or brush it through if you want, and then you go ahead and curl or flat iron as you normally would. So that is everything, how I style my hair, start to finish. Obviously, when I get it done by my hairstylist, it looks much better, but this is how I've managed to do it, and I'm really enjoying, I'm having fun. I might go like to here. I'm thinking collarbone length. We shall see. So I hope this was helpful. All the products will be listed in the description box below. I'm always open to suggestions. So if you think of a hair oil or a really amazing curling iron that you think I need to give a try, I am always keeping that list going. So when my hot tools gives out or I run out of product, I will investigate your suggestions because you are spot on with the Purology. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.